Again, so in the trend of another day, another walk, I am out here in the dunes of Mayendale, and uh, this nature reserve is actually the largest continuous dune landscape in the Netherlands, uh, or continuous dune area in the Netherlands, and it stretches all the way from Scheveningen to the, the, the Hague to Wassenaar. And uh, because it has so many cycling and walking and horse riding paths, it is the ideal place to go into nature, the Dutch landscape, just a, throw, a stone throw away from the city. So um, I've decided to take two different routes today. Hopefully I can find the way because, yeah, uh, as you guys might know, my center direction sucks. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some birds and enjoying this incredible landscape. This beautiful area is mostly characterized by the dunes, the like rugged water features, the forest and the stretched out beaches. Already I'm really enjoying the walk, like I, use, I walk through all the seasons so I see everything changing. But the spring here is definitely in view. Everything is starting to come up out of the ground, all the green shoots and um, all the blooming flowers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. very varied landscape of Mayendel. It is very rich in different types of flora and fauna and also different animal species such as birds. Already walking here I can hear the birds everywhere and um, well I'm not surprised because this place is home to over 250 species of birds and that puts Mayendel in the top 10 of bird nature reserves here in the Netherlands. I can already feel my calves a bit <laughs> because there's a severe like um, yeah, heart difference in some of the areas here and uh, living in the Netherlands where it's so flat this is definitely something new <laughs> because I haven't been in a country with hills for well what is it over a year now so uh, my calves are like what are you doing woman <laughs> observation hut. There are not many birds on the water but I'm just going to sit here for a while and enjoy the view. I just love seeing how crystal clear the water is. The dunes of course clean the drinking water because also this area is where drinking water gets extracted for the nearby uh, region so I'm not surprised how clear the water is but actually I'm also I am surprised because it's just it's beautiful.
I was combining are from the main parking area, the largest parking area, and it was the first was a red one, and then I went out and branched out a little bit bigger onto the blue one, and the blue one actually passes the main visiting center, which I've just finished now. So I'm going to finish the last bit of the uh, blue trail, and then I'm going back onto the red trail to hopefully find my way back to the car. So from what I can tell, I won't be passing the beach, but I kind of already knew this when looking at the map, but uh, I do enjoy the landscape. So there's a tree on my route. Do I choose to go around it? Or do I choose to go under it? That is the question. So I chose to go under it <laughs> because that's the more adventurous road. May and Dale actually started to form around the year 1000 when large stretches of sand started to drift. At the start of the 19th century, they started adding the Dutch uh, water pipeline in the dunes, which is now called Dunea. And this largely saved the area from being uh, built with roads and with houses. The only uh, buildings here, well, like the visiting center and stuff, and also a water tower uh, that was built in 1874. But because of this um, water system, this location was actually preserved. And now it covers over 2,000 hectares of land and it is closely linked to the Hollands Down, which makes it the biggest continuous dune area in the south, uh, the province of South Holland. The sun can never get enough of it. <laughs> in different parts of this area it looks like I finally hit the actual dunes or at least the super sandy area of the dunes and you know still this is one of my favorite landscapes here in the Netherlands also the failure but that's on the other side of the country anyways I'm really enjoying this um, I think I'm at the last stretch of my walk I'm not quite sure but I'm just following the red poles back to the car and then um, yeah we'll be done for today back at the car and I am sweaty and my legs are tired definitely from that last stretch over the sand um, it was such a fun and diverse walk there's a lot of difference in the heart but also in the landscape and I can definitely feel that spring is coming up not only from the flowers but also because it is actually getting too hot to wear a jersey Anyways, I didn't get to see any of the large animals like deer or foxes or see a woodpecker, but I did have a great time and this was a really nice place to come and walk uh, and see the different landscape. If I do come back here, I'll try and get a walk that also goes on the beach so I can include the last little bit of terrain. But anyways, for now, I'm on my way home and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to never miss another adventure. Until next time, friends.